I take a walk every day, no matter what the weather. And um, we just had a big rain, so a lot of leaves had fallen to the ground, so I didn't damage anybody's plants in getting my samples. But I'm going to show you how to make a stenciled card that you can give or send to somebody using plant leaves. So step number one, you make your perfect fold. And that means you line up the outside edges, you press down the middle to both sides, and you make a crease. Um, please remind yourself which way a book opens because your card should open in the same way. So. Now the leaves tend to have a side that curls up and if you turn it over then it curls down and you can make a much better stencil that way. I'm going to use watercolor. Um, any kind of paint will do. You can even use crayon if you work from the inside of the leaf out. And when I use the brush, I do brush from the inside of the leaf outward. And my brush is not super wet. So I have one leaf print. And that's not bad for a card, but it feels very empty to me. So I am cleaning my brush, squeezing the excess water out of it, choosing another leaf, putting it so that it's flat, and I think I want a green, nope, let me see, yeah, greener color this time. It's sort of obvious to make a green leaf, but here goes. From the inside, whoops, not enough pigment, from the inside out, and then this one's got more detail, so I don't know if it's going to stencil as well. Ah, not bad. So that's a gently stenciled note card. I'm going to make another one just so that you understand all the steps. Repeat myself. We start with a perfect fold. Make sure it opens like a book. Lay the leaf upside down-ish. Do not have a wet brush. The brush should be fairly dry so you can control the paint. Notice it's not soupy. I'm not laying in paint very far beyond the edge of the leaf. So I've got one leaf there. And make another leaf. A different color. leaf stenciled note cards. So give it a try and enjoy. Happy Eco Rama.